we're back dumpster diving at the bank again and you guys requested this so we're gonna do it again we're gonna see if we can find anything cool i'm not sure what the banks throw away we already dumpster dived it once and we found some counterfeit money that was really cool but we're back we're gonna see what else we can get it is raining like on and off right now you can tell my car is like super wet i'm hoping everything in the dumpster didn't get like soaked like it's been raining for a couple hours now so i'm not sure we're gonna check it and just so you guys know, dumpster diving is completely legal. I know we're at a bank, and cops are gonna think we're gonna look really sketchy. Like, just a minute ago, a cop drove by, so I had to wait to record this. And on our way here, we saw like a guy getting pulled over, or they might have been doing like a, they might have been trying to stop someone. I'm not sure because there were like two cops sitting in different areas, and they were blocking off like a certain section of the road, so they were probably trying to stop someone. So we should be good for now. There's not too many people out. We're gonna see if we can get anything good, and we'll show you guys what we find. I think they just had garbage day yesterday, but man, did we get lucky. They threw away one bag. This thing is completely empty besides this, and it looks like a bank bag. All right, we're going to have to go through this. I had to wait like 10 minutes before coming here to make sure there were no cops around, but there's hardly anybody out tonight, so we should be good. It is a little bit rainy, but I don't think this is really wet. You see the outside of the bag. Alright, let's pop that thing open and see what's inside. It's a little windy out, so hopefully this stuff doesn't blow away. I just had to transfer this into the dumpster because everything would have blown away. Look at the bag, it's blowing right now. All the garbage would have blown all over, and you never want to leave a mess. But we have not gone through any of this yet, so we're going to get a fresh look. Your average trash. We got some bank deposit bags. Those are actually neat because they're from specific stores. I don't see one on that. Oh, Advanced Auto Parts. Another one, not sure what that one's for. It's your average trash. Nothing too exciting yet. Another Advanced Auto Parts. All these are from local stores too, so that's pretty cool. Another GameStop one. That's pretty cool because that's one of our places. All right, guys, where's the good stuff at? It's pretty interesting, though, to see what banks throw away. Like, I'm not expecting to find money or anything, but that would be cool. Like, last time we did find some counterfeit money. Pretty close, but that's not real money. Oh, we did find some change, though. I guess that counts. Jeez, where is all the good stuff? It's all trash. I guess, what do you expect, though? Dollar Tree bag. All right. Oh, well, these are cool too. Like money roll things. 200 grand would, or not 200 grand, two grand would have been in that. It's pretty cool. One grand. So one time, there was a lot of money in those. Maybe one time I'll accidentally throw money away. Like everybody makes mistakes, so you never know. All right. I'm gonna go through this a little quickly because I'm not seeing anything yet. All right, we got. 250 bucks in dimes. Seems like such a small box and it's empty. Kind of cool though. At one point there was 250 bucks in there. What's this? Ooh, that's pretty cool. What is this? US Bank. Journey's end. Not sure what that means. But this is a bank bag right here. Think there's anything inside? So we'll have to find out. I don't really hear anything. Oh, I hear. Yeah, I hear something. Sounds like change. There might be some money in here. So there might actually be something cool in here. That's great. U.S. Bank. That's their competitor's bank. I'm not sure what this is doing in here. There's a bank right down the street, the U.S. Bank. We've dumpster dived there and haven't found anything. I guess they threw away their competitor's bag. But there might be something good in here. All right, you guys are going to get a first-hand look. It's a little hard to see. What? I don't see anything in there. Oh, there's something in the corner right there. It looks shiny. Can you guys see that? No, it's hard to see. I'm sorry. But let's crack it open. I see... Ooh. There's a coin right there. There's two coins right there and something else. All right, guys. You see that? I'm going to slide it a little. Right in the back there, there's two coins and something else. Let's slide it forward. See right there. Awesome. Let's pull those out. See, it's hard to get in here. This bag is really tight. Ah, oh, these gloves are so big, it's hard to grab them. 
I guess we'll just dump it out. All right, three things just fell out. Let's see what we got here, two coins and a key. All right, those are all good finds. I'll keep those. We'll take a look really quick. Let's see, I'm not sure what these are. Where'd the key go? The key fell, but I'm not sure what kind of coins these are. It says one dollar. What country is that from? Oh, it's like a Mexican coin. Yeah, I think that's from Mexico or something. And that is, what, from Canada? 25 cents? All right, so I guess they can't take these. Like, people will try to turn in their coins, and I guess they can't take foreign coins, so I guess they threw them away or something. But that's still worth money. We'll keep it. I'm not sure how much this comes out to in U.S. money, though. Like, we're from the U.S., so I'm not sure how much that is. We'll keep it, though. That is money. Like, technically, we just found money. Pretty cool. And we got a key. Oops, just dropped it. These gloves are really big and annoying. All right, I'm not sure what that opens. That would be really awesome if this was to a safe or something. Obviously, we're not gonna break in there and open the safe. But that's like a cool souvenir, I guess. That might be for a safe. I'm not sure what the numbers mean. That's the only writing I see on it. Anything on the back? Made in USA, that's right. All right, that's cool. All right, so those are the best finds so far. We got the US bank bag and two coins and a key. We'll keep it. Let's take a look at the rest of the bag. Let me know if you guys see anything that we missed. Got another box right here. 500 bucks and quarters. Man, that would have been really heavy. Put that aside. So some big bags right here. Oh, there's a bunch in one. These are all deposit bags. Pretty much the same stuff as last time. Down to the bottom right here. Got a lottery ticket. Let's see. Probably not a winner. I'll show you. Oh, winning numbers right there. Let's check it. 9, 28, 27, and 12. You guys can check it too. I do not see any of those numbers, so I guess it's a loser. That's why it's in the trash. But how amazing would that be to find a winning lottery ticket in the garbage? Man, it is super windy out this bag keeps getting blown over. Let's just dump this out and see what's in. I don't really see anything. Alright, let's go through this right here. This looks like a checking book or something. Let me open it up, see if there's any checks inside. Nope. Just like a checkbook holder. It is completely empty. Alright, we'll keep it. It's pretty cool. What's that? Oh, jeez. That is one huge paper clip right here. Let me get it off. Alright, look at that thing, guys. That is a monster paper clip. That's really cool. I've never seen a paper clip that big. Put it with the fines. Got another one. Two huge paper clips. That's really cool. Wonder what documents those would have been on. Right, I see like some cut up checks and stuff in here. And a bunch of junk. It's like the bottom of the bag right there. Ooh, something cool just fell out. It's like some kind of letter opener, yeah. Letter shark. So that's like a letter, oh, like letter opener or something. We'll keep it. Got a couple more things right here. We're gonna try to get out of here fast before anyone comes. Alright, looks like we just got a calculator right here. It fell in the water. 
That should still work though. We'll keep it. All right, oh, envelope just fell out. Looks like there's nothing inside though. You can see right through it. Pretty sure that's about it. Let's go through this one more time. Here's all the fines for tonight, but before we show you guys, I just want to say dumpster diving is completely legal. I know we're at a bank, but it is still legal. If a cop drives by though, they're going to think we're robbing the place. Like we got bank bags and stuff. They're going to think we went inside and robbed it. But anyways, we got some cool fines right here. I'm going to hurry it up. We got a U.S. bank bag. That's from a different bank, not a fifth third bank. Pretty cool though. We'll keep it. All the good fines are in this $250 dime box right here. Go through those. We've got a little letter opener. This is like some office supply stuff too. Calculator. I'm not sure if that works. Two gigantic paper clips. Pretty cool. We'll keep those. And these are the best finds right here. I know it's not that much, but it's like we got two coins. These are both foreign coins. One's from Mexico, one's from Canada. I'm not sure how much these are in US dollars, but we'll keep them. Still money. We found money bank dumpster diving. That's pretty cool. And it looks like we got the key to the bank or a safe or something in there. That's really cool. We're going to keep that as a souvenir. Might go to a safe. I don't know. That's really cool though. And last things, these are just cool boxes. $500 in quarters and $250 in dimes. But that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more bank dumpster dives. Got some pretty cool stuff and we'll see you in the next one.